Hey guys, truth is out too. Northern elders reveal why they allowed Tenobu to become president. See what they said that shakes the nation. Nigerians just they talk left, right, and center. <laughs> Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The Director of Publicity and Advocacy and Spokesperson of the Northern Edas Forum, NEF, Adu Aziz Suleiman, has shed light on the North decision to rally behind President Bola Tinubu during the 2023 elections. In an interview with the Sun, Suleiman emphasized that the North made a significant sacrifice for the sake of national unity. He said during the 2023 presidential elections, the North strategically mobilized its votes to support Tinubu. Tinubu is a prominent politician from the Southwest. This move, according to Suleiman, not only showcased the region's political competitiveness, but also demonstrated his unwavering commitment to fostering a united Nigeria by enabling a southern president. The North displayed his willingness to prioritize the country's interests above its own. Suleiman further, further emphasized that the North's contribution should not be overlooked in future presidential bids, particularly the 2027 race. He warned against any democratic tactics that would exclude the North from the contest, as such actions could bear feelings of marginalization and discontent among the populace. The North has long been a stronghold of political power in Nigeria and denying it the opportunity to present candidates could be seen as a deliberate attempt to sideline the region. Such marginalization has the potential to exacerbate existing scenario political divisions, uh, divisions and fuel regional tensions leading to uh, unrest and uh, instability. Nigerian's political system relies on maintaining a a delicate balance between the North and other regions. The Northern Edas Forum's support for Tinubu's presidential bid amplifies the region's political maturity and his ability to prioritize the greater good of the country. The strategic shift of power from the North to the South serves as a, a, testam a testament to the North's uh, steadfast commitment to national unity. Hmm. As Nigeria moves forward, it is crucial that all regions recognize the importance of inclusivity and unity in building a prosperous and harmonious nation. The sacrifice made by the North in supporting Tinubu's candidacy should serve as a reminder to, of the collective responsibility to prioritize the country's interests above individual or regional ambitions. Now they see why Nigeria is not moving forward. This is one of the reasons we are not moving forward at all. And if we continue like this, Nigeria is not going to move forward. You see, somebody is here already agitating for 2027. We date 2023. Yeah. Nothing to write home about. I was expecting that he's going to say, he's going to demand good governance from the president that they all supported, that they all voted for, that they, 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 they all, you know, rally around for, according to him. I was expecting him to say, ah, see the condition of the country. Now, it's not good. Though. How are you going to solve the problem on ground? He's talking about 2027, where you not even know whether you go wake up tomorrow. You see, these are our problems in this country. They feel that governance is just vote for someone, oh, from that region on a turn, make una become president or whatever. After your turn, our turn, turn by turn. 
Is that what they call governance? That is what is keeping us here today. Nigerians don't want to know whether that person is competent or not. They don't they plan who, who they want, who they want, you know, gone for seat as well. So that the suffering of Nigerians will continue. What a crime have we committed to become, to be a Nigerian? You can't even request for what, what, what is rightfully belongs to you. No. Honestly, I'm very, very disappointed with this statement. See, we did 2023, we won't enter 2024 by tomorrow. Uh -huh. We never talk about, this government is going to at least spend four years. Yeah. Then by 2027, we should be talking about another election. This very one now when we day, what do you have to say about what is happening even in your region? You not even talk anything about it. You are talking about the Northerners taking over seats in uh, 2027 because it's your right to do so. If now not wake up, demand for good governance. Nigeria will one day, one day like this, they will be looking for it in a map. If you people who are supposed to speak out, you not speak the truth to the leaders. Because this is, this is what is happening. These people are, are not being told the situation on ground. Eve of Christmas, about 150 persons were slaughtered in Plateau. The killings are still ongoing. On Saturday, yeah, today is, uh, today is Saturday. Uh, okay, yesterday was Saturday. The killing have started again in Plateau State. He never talk anything like that. He's busy strategizing how they will become president in 2027. Okay. I better make a drop on for you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for stopping by.